Hi, I'm Master Luki. I'm a former Ultimate Fighter. And what I'm going to do now is show you the best knee pad for mixed martial arts, grappling, everything. What qualifies me besides being an Ultimate Fighter? I've been doing martial arts since the year 1995. So it's almost 30 years. I took one year off. So, you know, we got what? 20, 27 years doing martial arts. And I've done, I've used every piece of equipment there is. Every style. And I'll, ex I'll, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you right now. Look at this. I actually use hockey neck guard. I use a, a neck guard that's from hockey to protect my neck because I have bone spurs and if somebody presses on my neck um, the soft tissue gets pressed into the jagged sharp chunks of bone from having my neck broken so I gotta wear a hockey neck guard um, I wear special MMA gloves with this extra little square here on the uh, PIP joint that's called the PIP joint an extended knuckle this is trial and error over the years, me coming up with me f um, finding, seeking and finding the best gear, okay? Just examples, just a little bit of an example. This is a, a, a rugby, rugby head guard, and I use that on top of a cotton go-kart balaclava, and this is to keep my hair in. I don't know how people uh, train with long hair if they don't have that stuff. But here's the knee pads. Look at all these different types of knee pads. This comes in at a, uh, a close second. Not close second. It's actually pretty far. Um, these also are decent. These are from wrestling. This is called Trace. These are okay. They're not big enough. Same thing with these. Same style. I'll just put them on so you can see. These actually, let's see, bike triflex. I believe these are from, uh, volleyball. Bike triflex, volleyball knee pads. They work. Okay. Trace. These are, I believe, wrestling knee pads. Maybe volleyball too, I don't know. These work too. These, these are tied for second. They both work good. Good enough. Um, these style, they look good for grappling. It's a spandex. But they're not good for striking. And I noticed that they move around a lot. Now, if you're if you're just doing wrestling, you might be okay with this. If you're just practicing your shooting, it might be okay. But when you're doing MMA, you, you don't just have shooting. You also have, you know, grabbing. Your legs are going to be grabbed. Um, I just, you know, didn't, didn't expect them to be the best. And, you know, that's basically what happened. They're not the best. They move around. And of all these knee pads, I still, these are the ones that I still use. Okay, I have these in a pinch usually. My laundry is good enough. I don't have to use them. These right here. These are from Japan. They're a website called Choke Sports. And these knee pads are, I believe, called striking knee pads. And they have like panels 
one on the side, one on each side, and then one in the middle. And these, I, I bought a bunch of these for MMA. And they're good. Expensive, though. You're probably looking at at least $50 for a pair of knee pads. Because everything from Japan is um, expensive. And this company, that's the only place to get them. You cannot get these from anywhere except Choke Sports. Asami knee pads. I got a bunch of those. And now we're going to go to the star of the show. And there you have it. It's actually made for softball. I got white. I got black. And I got these from a website called Epic. I believe it's called Epic Sports. I'll link it in the dis in the uh, description of this video once I get the video up. Uh, now, <clears throat> when I say these are the best, they cover the most. They cover the top of the knee. They cover the bottom of the knee. They even go down to the shin, so you can use these for MMA. Um, they're made for sliding. So they're not going to like, you're not going to have to readjust them in the middle of your training. Maybe a little bit, um, you know, you, you're working with forces that are just too much. And uh, let's see what else. They're cheap. These things are like not even $5 each. And uh, the website Epic is not a wholesale website. So everything there is on clearance. And if you don't have a wholesale account, you can still get these from Epic Sports. And these are my my top recommendation for knee pads. For MMA, they're called softball sliding knee pads. Uh, the one thing that I will say you might have to do is come in and do a little restitching, which I've had to do on a bunch of them because um, they're not made for wrestling, so the stitching came undone. The padding is fine. And one last thing I'll say, guys, about your equipment is when you're washing stuff that has foam in it, do not dry it on high. A couple of knee pads, more than a couple, actually, knee pads that I've had, I've actually ruined because the temperature of the dryer gets so hot that it degrades, you know, kind of like melts the foam inside the knee pad. But uh, anyway, uh, as you can see here, I got a lot of different equipment. I just moved up into the third floor of my building here from the first floor. So everything's a little bit uh, everywhere. But um, there will be more videos. If you have requests on, you know, my opinion on any type of equipment, Feel free to leave a comment and um, I'll get back to you. You can also go to masterluki.com and uh, go to the contact page down there at the bottom. Um, please like my channel, you know, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Master Luki over and out.